God, can you hear me? Yes, God can hear me because God is always listening. Yes, y'all. Listen, what's up? What's up? It's your number one, numero uno, God's original fly girl. Yes, just Josie coming through. I am in the building and I'm into building, y'all. GA Street Radio, God's House and Hip Hop is going down. Listen, I am blessed and humbled beyond words to be bringing you your very own Christian and gospel hip hop lifestyle segment. Just fly with Just Josie inside of God's Calamari and the God Squad. So look at God, though. Look at God. So on Just Fly with Just Josie, I'll be dropping you into all things fly as it relates to love, God, and CHH and GHH culture. So you're asking, what's CHH and GHH culture? Well, you ask a question. It stands for Christian Hip Hop and Gospel Hip Hop. You are in the know. So to set this party off right, I invited my longtime friend and brother, Mr. Dondre Whitfield is up in this house because, yes, he's just fly, y'all. And y'all about to find out just why. So, um, I, where do I even begin to introduce him? I mean, I, okay, listen, too many TV shows to mention, just too much stuff. But y'all can currently see him on the role, I mean, as the role of Remy on Queen Sugar. But before I drop you into all that, okay, let me just get a little something from Dondre right, right real quick. <laughs> I, well, you know, you know when I come in Don't the building. Don't act like you on the spot. You know when I come in the building, God in Brooklyn come in the building oh. with me. So what? you feel it. So, so get ready. I can stand up. I could. However you want to do this, just, I'm ready. Just, 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 just okay. Just well, you let me know. Just, 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 all right, all right, one second. You okay. asked for okay. it. So, can we give an official welcome to Dondre up in the house, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Dondre, so listen, welcome to Just Fly. I am so happy to have you on the show, brother. You know, I know you could be with them kids and that beautiful wife, come on, Sally Richardson come on, of yours. Come on, come on. But you here because that's the kind of brother you are, period. All right, so we go way back, Dondre, way back to our faithful central days, though. Can we just have a moment there? The the babies, the, the, the walking it out as babies. Okay. We the, was grown, but we was babies, we man. We was just nothing, right? We yeah, were just man. Nothing. We, was, we were babies in our walk which yes. was which was pretty dope it's and pretty um dope. just to see how everything has evolved i mean this 360 yeah man right this here. is, it, God's this house is of without a doubt that's, that's okay that's, fc nice you didn't even right know there. god was like getting you ready and all of us ready for this moment right yeah, here okay so let's get into it baby as i mentioned dandre is not just a very talented actor he's also an activist he has recently added author to his resume um, as I shared, the heart of all this, Dondre, is connecting our listeners to all things fly as it relates to love, God, and Christian hip-hop culture and gospel um, culture, right? So with that said, tell us about your book, Male Versus Man. And, and, you know, I mean, the title alone intrigues me, honestly, and it's right on time. It's right on time because we're in uh, this really unique space of the Me Too and Time's Up era and that was, both of those were birthed out of the fact that most of our males don't know the assignment on their life. Mm, say that, that's the word So if assignment. nobody ever tells you what your assignment is, it's virtually impossible to walk out something that you have no idea that you have been assigned to walk out. I love it. Right? right. So in my book, I talk about two specific beings, grown males mm -hmm. and men. Those are two uniquely different creatures. And unfortunately, most of our sisters don't know the difference between the two. So let me break that down real quick. Grown males are males who generally look to be served. Okay. So when he walks in the building, he's literally looking to serve himself at the expense of other people. Gotcha. A man is a male who generally looks to be of service. Mm. So he looks to serve over self. A man has been, in, when he was created, was intentioned to be a covering, right, for his community, much like a tree. So a man in his community is supposed to be a tree. Without trees to block us from the harmful elements of the world, we'd be in big trouble. Well, a man is supposed to be that. Well, unfortunately, some males grow up to be grown without knowing the true assignment for their life, and they miss their manhood. So my book breaks it down. The subtitle is Honoring Women, Teaching Children, Elevating Men. 
So when you said, sisters, I know he's got a little something for you too. Sisters, this book is for you too. Because it's going to teach you how to properly distinguish between a grown male and a man. So that you can properly pick a partner for yourself. That's amazing. I honestly, I, I was purposely not sort of interrupting you because, I mean, the way that flowed, it was just right to my spirit as a woman hearing it. Like just hearing the words yes, it is something that um, it was like bomb. You know what I'm saying? Because for most of your life, you haven't had the covering of a man. Nope. With the exception of your husband. That's right. Let's right? be clear about that. Let's now. be clear about that. <laughs> With the exception of yes. your husband, my brother Sean. That's big, right. Big shout to my brother That's Sean. Right. Massive respect. Hey, baby. Without the covering of your husband, you have been, for most of your life, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is not just about Josie. This is right. about women in general. Amen. Most of the women in our society walk around uncovered. That's right. Because most males don't know the assignment on their life. Yes. So if you think that the assignment on your life, look, I grew up in Brooklyn, right? The street teaches you to serve yourself. The street teaches you that women actually have been put here to serve you. Right. Whether it's food or whether right. it's them. Yeah. Right. So food or their flesh. Right. They have been sent here to feed you. Right. Food or flesh. Right. So if the street teaches you that and nobody ever tells you the true assignment on your life, when God created you, there was a true intention for your life. Most of us don't know the purpose on our life. I tell people all the time, acting is my passion, but activation is my purpose. Love it. So my job is to be here to teach males how to be men and to elevate men who are already walking in a space of manhood and to restore and resuscitate my sisters who have suffered at the hands of males that did not know how to be men. Well, I love this. I love it very much, which is, you know, one of the main reasons why I wanted you to be my first guest on the show, because I think that this man movement is is something that's needed right now. Yes. Right? Um, and I, I want to I wanna talk about Nipsey Hussle really quickly for a minute, because I think that, you know, you know, we all come from wherever we come from, right? But at some point, you can decide that, you know what, calling my sister a hoe or all these degrading names and words and, you know, in the way that we're sort of treated and unfortunately in our very own culture, yes. that at some point, when do you man up? When do you own up and say, you know what, that's mad disrespectful, especially if you, if you got a woman, if you got a wife. Like, how can you not a see mother. a mother, exactly, a sister that you've grown up with? Come on, brother. I mean, at what point do you man up? At what point do you take responsibility for that? So let me say this, and this is extremely difficult. So let's look at it from this perspective. Driving is a skill. If no one ever teaches you how to drive, when do you learn how to drive? You don't become a driver because you turn 18. You don't become a driver because you turn 21. You become a driver when someone educates you. Right. When someone teaches you how to drive. That's a skill set. Well, manhood is a skill set. If no one ever sits you down and teaches, brother, ho, ho, freeze. That is not the way this is done. And I'm going to say something a little against the grain. Two, two, two. Two things that may set the room on fire, but I love fires. Yeah, you do. Come on. A woman cannot teach a male how to be something she's not. Just like a man cannot teach a woman. I got a 14-year-old daughter. Can you feel me? Yes. My wife has got to usher my daughter into womanhood. That's right. Amen. I cannot. You understand? I see where be you're going. Because I am not a woman. I see where you're I going. I cannot teach my daughter how to be something I am not. I have this conversation at home with my man all day. My mother taught because me how I to have cook. Sons. Yes, indeed. Okay. My okay. mother taught me how to cook. That makes me a man who knows how to cook. It doesn't make me a chef. If I want to become a chef, I got to get under the tutelage of That's right. A chef. Yes. If you want to become a man, you got to get under the tutelage of a man. Mm -hmm. You said something earlier. You said, Dondre, this manhood thing, this movement is really important. 
Now, I'm going to take that word for a second because it's a really important word. Mm -hmm. A movement is something that is done consciously. In order to start it and to sustain it, you got to have consciousness. Yes. I'm not going to go as far as saying, that, let me make this statement first and then I'm going to get back to that word movement. It feels like we are celebrating our queens at the expense of denigrating our kings. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you That's what it feels like right now. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go as far as calling this a movement cuz again, that would require a certain level of consciousness. So you're not calling this a movement. I'm not calling that a movement. I'm calling this a moment. Okay. That it feels like we're stuck in right now. Okay. Where it feels like we can't celebrate our queens without denigrating our kings. And I understand why that is. And that's why my book is so important. Because many of our sisters don't know the difference. They think because they've suffered at the hands of a male, they don't know that there are actual men that exist. So anybody with a... Look, in order to be a male, all you need is a penis and a pulse. Mm -hmm. In order to be a man, you got to have purpose and precision. Yes. That's very important. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's why this book is so necessary because what that is, what it's going to do is frame all of this up, tee all of this up, and teach our sisters, wow, it. wait a second. There's a huge difference between those two, and I just got to learn how to, how to distinguish between those two. I love it. I'm just going to say on that because we have to be um, conscious of our time is that um, there is a, 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 a time for everything, and I think that yes. this is the time. No question. Now, you coming behind the Me Too with this to balance it out yes. is what I'm agreeing with yes. right yes, now. Indeed. Because I yes, do indeed. think that there needs to be a balance, and we have to find that as a people, as, yes, as men and as women. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that at that, and I want to um, move forward. And that's a nice little you know, cliffhanger for, for those wanting to get your book and wanting to find out. Now, how where are you taking us with that but I love it and I and I Fire. trust and I trust and I trust you which is why I, I brought you on here to speak on it brother so I cannot wait to find out more and list and learn more um, let's switch it over a little bit um, just for time's sake so let's talk about the music because you know we're talking about a movement we're consciously trying to move Christian hip-hop and and gospel hip-hop forward here um, and it's a very very conscious movement so let's talk about Christian and hip hop music, and what's that to you? I mean, just we dropped you in real quick, and I mean, is it fire or what? It's it sounds, you know, whenever I have this discussion, it always sounds like something that is polar opposite, like the gospel or Christian anything and hip hop, right? Because when you come from the street, you're like, wait, wait, what a second, what, what? They kind of. And then you listen to these artists. Like, I, when I walked in here, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, oh, every, every single thing that I heard in here was absolute fire. But just like, look, I'm a vegan. Right. 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 Some people who just eat meat, and I get it, because I used to, they hear vegan and they go, ugh, before they even try yep, anything. Yep, you got to taste it. You got to taste it. You feel it. me? You so stop first. eating with your mind. You feel me? Yeah. It, it, w when you're eating food, eat with your mouth. When you're eating this music, eat with your ear. Yes. You gotta listen to it first before you judge it. So we're gonna we're gonna play Dondre's Just Fly song of the week. You heard mine. That was Lecrae's, right? Now you're gonna. I mean, yeah, that was. Lecrae's. And I'll tell you why it's my fly. Yes, absolutely. So let's break it down now. We got here neighborhood hope dealer. I am wordsmiths featuring Bizzle and Seven. Break it down for us, MC. Nice. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Reaching the unreachable. Yes. Teaching the unteachable. Yes. We have hope dealers. Yes, sir. Sometimes I wake up in a deep sweat, stress, sleepless, daily I'm traumatized, open up, feeling misery. Yeah, he's the bread of life, boy, so real. I don't just want to slice, I want the whole meal. When it comes to this mob and I got no chill, for real, I can teach you how to hope real. 
I'll be on the block till they murder me. What? Helping others prosper. That's what I put you in. You just gonna come right in. Cause I got no chill. For real, I can teach you how to hold real. Okay, now you know that track right there is hot. It's too hot. Supreme fire. Listen, I'll be on the block till they murder me. Helping what? others prosper eternally. That's my whole life. Tell them. I am a man. I am a servant. Yes. I, my job is to go out and to serve the people the way God intended when He was create when He created me. You are that doing drum that. right there is supreme you fire. You are doing that. Okay, so listen. That's one of the things I love about this generation that at least they have the option to listen to some clean, inspirational, hyped up hip hop music yes, with the whole family. So tell us real quick what gravitated. What, I mean, why did you gravitate to the song? Tell us the story. Because you know when you when you come from the hood, when you think about dealing, you think about drugs, mm -hmm. and this track just talks about dealing gospel. It's a neighborhood hope deal, without a doubt, and just. Uh, really in the space of supreme service like I'm gonna stay on the block till they murder me because I'm helping others prosper eternally like that right there if we could get every man to that's lock it. into that right there D, that's you rap. and me I think we need to make no that question movie. The, 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 the world is is gone and it's just you and me still trying to save it how about Without that a, doubt. a Christian movie. all day okay don't steal my all idea day. nobody else <laughs> You heard it first here on Just Jonesy, okay? <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so listen. Um, so, you know, this is just real talk. You came in, you know, CHH and GHH, again, Christian hip-hop and gospel hip-hop music. I mean, it's on fire. When, when, when I started listening to GH3, I was really like, this wow. is dope. Yeah. So, so are you going to stand behind us and no move and, on this movement? No question. Here, will you be listening and putting your kids no down with Listen, all things? Like I said, I got a 14-year-old daughter. I got a 10-year-old son. I need them to, to uh, be rooted in some hip-hop, but they have to have a great diet. So That's the right. hip-hop, you know, this this type of hip hop is the, the right soul. kind of diet without a That's doubt right. so Gotta yes indeed so listen i mean oh you know we already knew this wasn't going to be a good I knew, time, listen so I, when you told me when you told me 20 something i was like we just i may as well not even cut we just you do this on I'm the saying? phone because this gonna be over with as soon as we walk <laughs> in the door and it's no lie listen y'all well they say time flies when you're having fun it's almost that time i i i really want them to you know just make me leave because i don't want to go nowhere all right but listen, um, I got I got to bring I got to give this over back to MC Nice and the God Squad. I've had a blast with you, my brother um, Dondre. I hope you all have too, Dondre. Listen, thank you for blessing us with your time and all your nuggets. Um, let me see, Dondre. How can they reach you? My how pleasure, can they purpose. You? So DondreWhitfield.com <laughs> uh, at Dondre Whitfield for everything. Facebook and Twitter and Instagram is at. All Dondre, A L L D O N D R E. I love, I love you, Get brother. It. Listen, Get it. we we gonna have to have him back, y'all. Listen, I just want to say a quick few things. I know y'all been blessed by listening to him. Make sure that you follow him. Um, if you don't mind, I have to. I really, really want to say a quick prayer for you and your beautiful family before love that. you leave. That's very important to me. So, real quick, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for this king amongst us, Dondre Whitfield. I ask that you would continue to works, to continue the works that you've started in him and transforming lives through his man versus male movement and male, male versus man movement, Lord God. You know what our men need, Lord. Thank you for choosing and using Dondre to transform lives. Please cover him as he goes forth, as he is just a man himself, Lord. May he continue to seek you in every step of the way. And Lord, I ask you that you you continue to cover him and the family from head to toe as he comes and as he goes. In Jesus' name, I ask all these Jesus things. Amen. 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 All right, listen. Part two. Uh, part two. Part two. <laughs> all right, my all right, my fly girls and my fly boys. It's time for me to hand this back over. I hope you enjoyed this segment of Just Fly with Just Josie and Just Dondre on GH3's God's Calamari. Make sure you follow me on IG, Twitter, Snapchat, Josie Harris with two S's. Go to my JustJosie.com to learn more about me and Just Josie YouTube channel. Again, a huge thanks for everybody listening. I'm a shout out to my husband, my cover, who's right here beside me, always near me. To my boys, Elijah and Jonah. Mommy loves you. To my daughter, 
Brianna, to my family and friends, I cannot do this without your love and support. I want to shout out to my way kids, to all my actors and all my artists. I love you, okay? I'm always praying for you and I got you. And the highest thanks always be to God. This is your girl, just Josie. Remember, always choose love. God is able and God is good no matter. I'm out. Peace. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yes, Come indeed. On. Bye, girl. Yes, indeed. Bye, girl. Radio. Yes, indeed. Bye.